Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing a non-tutorial. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that I'm going to do an attempt at modeling a character. Now, if you know my channel, you know I never do characters and I don't do them for a reason. I completely suck at it, okay? But this is going to be basically a first attempt for the simple reason that I get this question all the time. People ask me, please, please, please do a character. Um, maybe this will be helpful for those of you who are completely new to this as well. So uh, when you see me struggle at this, maybe you know you'll have a, a good laugh and uh, you know come up with some ideas for yourself. So this guy right here is going to be the basis for the video, and um, yeah, it's it's basically a bunch of basic shapes, right? So uh, let's jump in and see how this turns out. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. Well, welcome to my sort of tutorial. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I never, ever, ever do characters. I get asked to do it all the time. And uh, basically, you could call this guy a character. If you're a beginner to character modeling like I am, and you want to do something that you can uh, rig and use in your animation, this is a good start. So uh, let's see if we can make this happen, OK? Now, I got two different reference images. Um, it's actually not the same model, but it's just to give me an idea of how the parts uh, would uh, look. And that said, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the middle section here. This uh, seems to be somewhat of a semi-sphere where it's flattened on the front and back. So uh, let's uh, do that. We'll take a sphere. And we'll not make that crazy high poly because we don't want to make it difficult for ourselves. So what we'll do there is we'll uh, just uh, jump in, have to zoom in, and get that roughly into this position here. Hit R, scale that up. We're going to turn on our X-ray right there. And then we're going to hit W, bring it in, scale it back down a bit until we are pretty close. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to right-click at a face. We're going to drag, select. Let's do these faces right here. We'll drag, select um, these right there. And then we're going to go in and we're going to go to edge. And let's, uh, we can go to vertices as well. Let's go to vertex. We'll drag, select these. And we'll just start to scale them out. So skip a row. And one more, like that. Try to keep them straight, of course. I think that looks fine. Of course, our reference model isn't looking uh, completely level and so forth, so don't worry about that. We're going to control E to extrude. We're going to W to pull up. And R to scale in. G to repeat. W to pull up and R to scale in, okay? So let's have a look and see what we got. So that's that. You can see that it's kind of flat at this end, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go in and let's see, we'll go in, we'll go to mesh and uh, fill hole on the top. We're gonna go in, double click here, G to repeat which will give us two huge end guns, but we'll uh, deal with that. And then what we need to do is we need to um, flatten those sections. Now, a couple of ways you can do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, mesh and uh, clean up to fix those end guns. Faces with more than four sides, clean up, which will create a couple of triangles, which is OK. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, welcome to my um, somewhat of a tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do today is model a character, or at least something that could resemble a character. Now, uh, if you know my channel, you know I never do characters ever, ever, because I completely suck at it. Uh, but that said, I get the question all the time. Now, if you're new to modeling characters like I am, um, uh, I suggest you start with something like this because it's mainly a bunch of basic shapes. And from there, you can get your first model started and kind of go from there, okay? So let's get started on this guy. Um, why not start with his head, okay? So uh, you can see that it's 
the top there is kind of a sphere and then as you go down it starts to look a little bit like a cube so what we'll do is we'll take a, a sphere here let's hit W push that up and move that in it doesn't need to be that high poly so we're gonna hit control A we're gonna go in let's set that to 12 that should be enough I think that looks fine and then we're gonna go into this view right here and it doesn't have to be completely spot on as long as you have something that will work for you okay so we got that we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale it in a little bit like this and hit W and move it up like so and then we're gonna right click at a face we're gonna drag select to about there delete that right click edge double click on it we're gonna control E to extrude W to pull down and R to scale in G to repeat W to pull down R to scale in G to repeat W to pull down go to and R to scale in and G to repeat and do it to pull down and R to scale in. Now our model is far from symmetrical level and so forth so don't worry about that. Now in our example here it's a really hard cutoff. What we're going to do instead is uh, take the uh, take it in object mode and I'm basically going to squish it a little bit but the way we'll do that is we'll go in we'll right click take that edge at the bottom there hit b for soft select hold down b and left click and drag to increase that affected area and then we're gonna um, push it in like this okay and then we're gonna flip it so we're gonna hit b again we're gonna right click to object mode e to rotate hold down j snap twice yeah it's better yep not quite want to make sure it's looking in the right direction here so let's uh, hit B to turn that off hold down J Yeah, that's better okay so we got that now let's look at the upper body so for the upper body we're gonna take a polygon cube we're gonna hit W let's move that up and move that in let's have a look push that up I'm gonna go to vertex drag select move that out drag select move that out take these move that down hit R, bring that in. So that's our basic shape right there. And then we're gonna go into Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, set it to Single. And let's put one in somewhere around there, okay? All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna hit Q on our keyboard. We're gonna right click and go to Edge. Take these two edges, hit R, Kind of push them forward. Take this edge and uh, this edge and kind of pull them out like so just to get a little bit of that torso shape. And then uh, let's see what we're going to do is we're going to add some shoulder action here. So for that, we'll go into Injured Edge Loop option box, set that to multiple. We'll do two on that, and we'll go in, and we'll hit R, and we'll kind of push them out like so, okay? Hit Q on your keyboard, we're gonna take this edge and that edge, hit W, and just slightly push that down, okay? Now, if you like looking at the back here, what you can do is from the back, um, bring that back line back a little bit, Okay, so that would be this edge or these vertices. We'll drag select them and kind of bring that back. I think that looks better. Let's do a preview smooth here. Let's see what we got. That's a bit too flat, so we're gonna hit one 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go to insert edge loop again, which is still set to two. There you go. Hit R, kind of scale that out a little bit. We're going to hit uh, Q to get out of that. Let's go and hit three again. That's better. The only thing is that this should be at the other end. So let's flip it around. Modify and center pivot. Hold on J, flip it around. There you go. Okay. So let's look at the bottom there, or the, uh, the pelvic area, if you will. Let's actually smooth this guy. We can do that. Let's go to Mesh and Smooth, this one as well, there you go. So, uh, yeah, so we got this area down here, which kind of looks like a cutoff sphere. So uh, we'll uh, take another sphere for that. Let's uh, bring that in. And at this point, our model is way, way off because that photo is not a good representation, but that's okay. We'll go in, we'll uh, delete these top faces here. We'll go in and we'll um, cut these off. And then we're gonna go into, let's go into edge. Actually, let's go into vertex. We'll go into vertex, drag select these, and we're gonna start to flare them out a little bit. This one here, there we go. That's basically the shape we want. Okay, now uh, let's see what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click at an edge. I'm gonna double click on this one, control E to extrude and R to scale in, like so. We'll do the same down here, G to repeat, R to scale in. So that's going to be that section, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go in. We're going to go to Edge and double click on this one and this one. We're going to hit B for Soft Select, and we're going to push that in, kind of flatten that a little bit, right? So we got that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's look at that middle section there. That seems to be a uh, section of a sphere, right? So let's take that in W, move that up. And we're going to move that in there. Yeah, it's fine. So that's going to be in here. It's going to be the section. And what we're going to do there is we're going to right click, go to face, turn B off. Object mode, come on, go to face, yeah. Let's uh, take off this top section here and this bottom section there. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Now that needs to be flattened, of course, and I want to work a little bit on my torso. So let's see. We're going to hit R. We're going to kind of scale this in a bit. And then we're going to push that in a little, like so. We're going to take our torso and we're going to give that a little bit more body, like that. Move it over a little, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to move the head back. Okay, now this needs to be adjusted a little bit. There you go. And then we're going to use this guy, hit Control D, hit W, move up. And we're going to use that for our neck. Okay. And we're going to do at this point, and I should have done that way, way earlier, is we're going to move our reference. the simple reason that it makes things much much easier 
like I said, should have done that, didn't do it, my apologies, okay? So we'll take this guy, we'll hold down X, we'll snap it. Just make things so much easier. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Modify center pivot. Just make sure all the parts are centered. All right, so now that we have that, let's have a look. So this is gonna be our head, we're gonna move that a bit forward. And we're going to close up that gap down there as well. So we're going to right click at the edge, double click on it, control A to extrude, R to scale in, like that. We're getting there. Okay, so um, now we will be doing a lot of copying, okay, and because it's basically pretty easy. So we'll take a sphere for the shoulder, we'll go in. W to move that up. And let's uh, move that over. Hit R to scale that down. Let's see how close we are. It's not too bad. So let's uh, put that in around there. Okay. Now I'm going to hit uh, Control D to duplicate that. I'm going to bring one in here. And then Control D again. And we're going to bring one in here. I'll make that one a bit smaller, like so. And then we're gonna connect those. Now, um, for the upper arm, we're simply gonna take a polygon cylinder, we're gonna hit W, move that up. R the scale down, E to rotate that a little bit. And we're going to hit W, we're going to move it in. And I'm going to right click at a vertex, drag like these top vertices and the bottom vertices. Like that. And then these will come in a bit, slightly tapered. And then we'll take this guy in object mode and slightly bring that in. Okay. Now, if you like, if you think this is a bit too straight, what you can do is select it, go into Injured Edge Loop option box, set that to uh, multiple, let's do five. You can go in, set the number, and then you can go in and go to Edge. And just kind of flare that up a little bit to make it slightly more organic. Again, if you like, you don't have to, but gives it a slightly different feel. All right. And again, you know, in this case, these tops are uh, closed up. If you want to use this in a game or whatnot, of course, you need to go in clean up your mesh, get rid of faces that you're not using, make sure the gaps are all closed and so forth, okay? So we've got this guy, we're gonna use it. So we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, W to move it down. Let's use that for our lower arm. So let's uh, bring that in here. Let's uh, rotate that a little bit. Hit W, bring that in. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it down a little bit more. And at this point, we're going to be working based on our model more than the reference. Maybe scale it down in this direction a bit. Yeah, not too bad. It's a little bit thick. So we'll go in here and we'll go into Edge. Let's just uh, scale that in a bit.
Okay. So now that we have that, we need a hand. Now the hand in this case is uh, based on a cube. So we'll do that down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch it out. Stretch it out in this direction as well. I'm gonna go to injured edge loop, which is still set to five. We're gonna go to the top, go into object mode, and W, move it over here so we can see what's going on. We're gonna right click and go to vertex. And we're gonna start to work this towards kind of a point, if you will. Like so, like so. Then we're gonna take these, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna kinda push that in like this. And then we're gonna go to injured edge loop again, uh, like this. We're gonna Q on our keyboard, we're gonna get object mode, hit R to push this down, like so. And then we're gonna go in, get a vertex. Let's uh, push this in a bit. See if I can approach them from this side. Um, nope. From this side then. Yeah, that's a bit better. Actually, I think perspective view is even better than that. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go and take that top edge, W, raise it up a bit. down, bring it down some more, that looks about right, and then we're going to take this one and this one, hit B on our keyboard, hold down B and left click and drag, let's kind of work that down a little bit, that's a bit too much, so hold down B again, pull it back a little, Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna hit B to turn that off. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna bring that in. And we're gonna hit E to rotate it. Hard to scale it down a lot. Give it some thickness. Hit W, bring it in here. And in this case it's rotated, so let's do that. Okay, maybe a bit bigger. That's fine. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this, go to mesh and combine, go to modify center pivot, go to edit duplicate special option box negative one on skill x duplicate special move that over to this end like so starting to get somewhere now let's uh, deal with our legs uh, not that different so we're going to copy this at least part of it so we're going to go to mesh and separate Let's uh, take this and this actually, and maybe even this, okay? So let's go to mesh and uh, combine, control D to duplicate, bring that down. Let's move that into position for our leg, E to rotate. And let's see how much we need to change here. I think it's not too bad actually. And then we'll take this, Control D to duplicate, and W to move down. Let's go to modify and center pivot. Bring it in. E to rotate, W to bring in. R to scale. W to move down. And let's have a look. We 
we're gonna right click at an edge, double click on it, let's hit R and kind of scale that in a bit. And I'm gonna to go to object mode, hit W and bring that in. Like so. Then we got one more joint section here. Let's see, we'll use this, modify and center pivot. Control D to duplicate, W to push down. Power to scale up, and that would be in this ballpark right here. And we need to kind of give the upper legs a bit more meat. Okay, so we're gonna separate that, we're gonna get an edge. Let's make the, the upper legs a bit more beefy. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. Okay, so this one needs to come in a little bit. And in our feet, as you can see, they're very flat and simple and whatnot. So for the foot, we'll take another polygon cube. We'll hit R, we'll scale it push that out like so, push it in, push it out. Let's go to insert edge loop, and there you go. We're gonna jump to our top here. We're gonna right click go to vertex, drag select. Come on, let's try that again. Drag select, hit W, move it. They're very simple. Push it in like this. And then we're going to go in and take a couple of these edges. And I only want the, uh, the top ones here. So let's hit W, bring that up a bit. Skip one at each end. Bring it up some more. That's about right. Now you can go in, go to object mode, and go to mesh and smooth. Let's see how that looks. It's a bit too flat. Hit Control Z to go back. We'll go in and we'll insert edge loop manually. So we'll uh, put one in here, we'll put one in here, and then one there and one there. Not there, there. That should make a big difference. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Yeah, it's much better. So we're gonna go to mesh and smooth on that one. Let's hit E to rotate. And let's see if we can get that into place here. Where's our guy? Oh, there he is, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, flip that over. R to scale it down. W to move up and in. Let's give it a bit more body. After all, there's feet, right? Now keep in mind, guys, this is by no means a game-ready model, right? This is just to give you an idea how you can start to approach it. And once you're happy with the overall concept layout, what it looks like, what it feels like, you can decide how you want to move forward, okay? So, um, yeah, that looks all right. So we're gonna drag select this and shift drag select all of this. Let's go to, um, let's see, we're gonna go to mesh and combine. Let's go to modify center pivot, edit. Duplicate special, which is still at minus one on X. Let's bring that in here. And there you have it. That is my uh, somewhat pathetic attempt to um, create a character. Um, you know, I don't do characters for a reason. 
um, but you know this is how you can approach it okay so uh, this is of course a very easy to um, to set up in the sense of rigging uh, I mean you don't even have to use joints if you don't want to you can uh, use uh, parenting and rotation and whatnot so very very simple I did a um, a model of a robot a couple of years ago where I did the same principle so uh, yeah that's that so uh, hopefully you had some fun um, and uh, please let me know in the comments if I should do stuff like this more in the future or not uh, if you think it completely sucks you can let me know that as well okay well thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.